everyone, it's John from What Up, and welcome back to another video. Today we're talking Wheel of Time Wednesday and its triumphant return. So if you've been around the fandom for quite some time like me, you know what this is, and you're probably just as excited as I am. If you're not on Twitter, you probably haven't heard of it. I know a lot of you uh, that watch my channel are not on Twitter. Don't worry, all the Twitter stuff I put here in my channel because uh, I know Twitter's not exactly for everyone. Now, if you haven't uh, been around for a while, or if you're new to the fandom or new to the show, you probably don't know what Wheel of Time Wednesday is. We're going to explain that in the video. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about where it comes from and what it can mean for the release of Season 2, which I think at this point is fairly imminent. Now, new to the channel, don't know what we do here. We cover Wheel of Time show news. Anything and everything to do with Wheel of Time as we talk about, from the mundane to the outlandish, from the unofficial rumors to the official to leaks, you name it, we talk about it here. Um, so if you like that sort of thing, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Click that notification bell because we put out a couple of videos per week. And if you like my videos, absolutely click that like button. As we've seen in the last couple of videos, they're the most liked videos I've ever had. And the reach was just absolutely amazing on them. I want to thank you folks for that. They've had more views than I've had in quite some time. And I've got a ton more subscribers too. And I am trying to hit 20k before the second season of Wheel of Time comes out. I think, I think we're on track for that. So I want to thank you folks for that. All right, now before we get into the video, I do have to mention a spoiler warning because we are talking about season two the show. So, spoiler warning, if you have not read the first three books of Robert Jordan's The Wheel of Time series, that's The Eye of the World, The Great Hunt, and The Dragon Reborn, and you have not seen the first season of Sony and Amazon's Wheel of Time adaptation, that's episodes one through eight on Prime Video, be forewarned, there's going to be very minor spoilers from both of those mediums. All right, that being said, let's get on to the video. All right, so what is Wheel of Time Wednesday? I know some of you out there are probably newer to the fandom or you're not on Twitter, so you have no idea what it is. Um, essentially, Wheel of Time Wednesday uh, started way back when, long before the first season official marketing even started. So back when it was just some of the cast, some of the production team, including the showrunner Rafe Judkins uh, and the book consultant Sarah Nakamura posting on Twitter to kind of engage the fans and, and hype up the imminent release of the show. Uh, they inadvertently started something called Wheel of Time Wednesday, and what it was was the first Wednesday, usually the first Wednesday of every month, they released a little tidbit to the fans, uh, whether it be a casting, a set photo, uh, some, some cryptic puzzle, uh, and then later on when the official Twitter account and the official media started taking over, we got uh, little snippets, teasers, five to ten second clips, either of objects in the show, characters, costumes, things like that. It was... Um, initially a very innovative and great marketing campaign to a very narrow focus group of people. And by narrow focus group of people, I mean basically Wheel of Time fans on Twitter because it didn't really migrate to Instagram well. It didn't go to any other social media that well at all. Uh, and it really wasn't pushed anywhere else. It was just sort of a, a small community of people called Twitter of Time that were getting little tidbits about the show. And, and let's face it, they were the hardcore fans that really, really cared. And then people like myself would take that stuff and, and put it on the internet, like put it on YouTube and stuff. We talk about it. Um, so that's what Wheel of Time Wednesday is. It appears it's back. So Rafe Judkins, the showrunner, uh, posted this last Wednesday, so just a few days ago. To celebrate Jordan Con 15 this weekend, I think it's finally time to bring back Watt Wednesday. So every week I'll sneak a little tidbit on here. Nothing official, just stuff from my phone and brain. And then, uh, of course, the hashtag is Twitter time, Wheel of Time. So... This looks like it's going to be more than one Wednesday a month. It looks like it looks like it'll be every single Wednesday for Mae Shedkins. And it's pretty interesting because when they release stuff like this, everyone picks it apart. And I don't mean in a bad way. I mean, they look for every little tiny tidbit they can. So we're going to play you uh, the clip, the video that uh, Rave Judkins had released on Twitter. And I'm going to show you what some of the fandom, including myself uh, and, and mostly, actually mostly the folks over at Watt Series uh, and a few other small little communities with Wheel of Time did to this video to get some more information out of it. Hello to the cast of Wheel of Time. All of our wonderful actors. Whoop. All right, so that was a neat little video that Rafe put out, uh, and it sounds like he's putting out one every single Wednesday. Now, before I get into what's in the video and what the fandom did to it, I want to talk about what I think it means for the marketing for Season 2 and when we're going to get Season 2. Now, this weekend is JordanCon. I'm going to do a JordanCon video, likely uh, Sunday or Monday, uh, because there is a Q&A by the Wheel of Time cast, and likely a casting or two being released as well, and maybe some other little surprises I've been told uh, along the way from the Wheel of Time cast uh, and crew and production team. So I'm going to do a video about all of that probably Sunday or Monday to make sure I don't miss anything. i uh, let everybody who isn't at JordanCon, including myself, know uh, what went on and uh, what they've released. But 
this this Wheel of Time Wednesday stuff happened long before the official marketing happened for season one. Um, so if they're starting it back up now, if Rape Judkins has been given leeway to do this for, for a while, I don't believe many of the production team, cast and crew uh, were able to post much to social media or talk about the show in between seasons. Uh, I, think, I think Amazon just didn't want them to. Uh, but if he's given leeway to do this again, it means that we're probably getting season two sooner rather than later. Now, that doesn't b mean I believe there's going to be an announcement of a, a release date, Jordan Con. Um, as much as I love Jordan Con and I think it's amazing for Wheel of Time fans, I think it's too narrow a focus for Amazon to release a release date there. Uh, what they'll likely do is wait for one of the bigger Comic Cons, uh, New York or San Diego, uh, release something there perhaps, um, maybe in a, in a news article. Um, by, you know, the Hollywood Reporter or Deadline. Uh, they usually release some of their bigger. Um, gets so to speak in those publications uh, unless of course we get a leak of it beforehand and, and you'll see it on youtube for myself or one of the other content creators that do wheel of time stuff um, so i don't think we're getting a release date this weekend at jordan con but i think um this lead up to jordan con and then what we're going to get at jordan con this week and then what we're going to get from rafe over the next few weeks for wheel of time wednesday are probably leading up to giving us a release date of some sort maybe a teaser trailer um they release it far and wide and uh, then we, we all know when season two is coming out. Now, my predictions for season two release is either going to be at this point. I'd love it to be the first week of June to tie in with the Dragon Reborn audiobook released by Rosamund Pike. I don't know if that's likely because we're really close to June right now. We're already halfway through April, for, further than halfway through April now, um, which leaves a month and a half of marketing. And Amazon usually likes between one and three months of marketing uh, for their shows. So it's entirely possible we're getting it the first week of June and they release a teaser trailer in the next two to three weeks as long as as well as a release date but i don't think that's going to happen i think the two likely dates we're probably going to see it will either be august of this year or november the same release time frame as the first season because if it's november then basically what they're doing is they're leapfrogging lord of the rings rings of power and wheel of time they'll have wheel of time one year lord of the rings the next year wheel of time the next year and i think that's probably how they're going to do it they're going to keep that november slot open for their big fantasy um juggernauts so to speak uh, every single year but that's just my two cents. Uh, so we're left at the very end with this. Now, if you're not uh, following all the little tidbits and news, this is Mira Sal. She is uh, an actress that is going to be in the second season of the show, but we don't know who, who she's going to be playing. We, we were not given her role, uh, although a lot of the fandom has heavily speculated for a very long time that she's, she's going to play Varen Sedai. Um, and Varen's a very big character in The Wheel of Time uh, and a fan favorite. A lot of people really, really love Varen, and I think Mira would be a fantastic addition to the cast as Varen. But again, we're not 100% on, on who she's playing. I took a look at the video myself, and it looks to be uh, in the format next to, next to the number under her name, looks to be the beginnings of the letter V. I compared it on Twitter to a couple of other um, sections of the video where they had capital V's and the top of that letter seemed to be the same. That doesn't mean absolutely anything. It was grainy. It was out of focus. It was hard to see. So um, take that with a huge grain of salt. But if I had to put money on it, I would say she's likely Varen and we're likely going to get her casting released this weekend at Jordan Con. So we'll see in the next day or two. All right, now let's go through what the rest of the fandom, especially Watt series, did to this video because essentially they picked out every single cast member in the video, including all the main ones that were there, but all the tops of the heads and the foreheads and the hair, they matched all of that up. All right, so you're going to see uh, in the next few slides here, the top half will be the video. This is what Rafe actually showed us. It's what he actually released, what you just saw a few minutes ago. Bottom half is going to be what uh, the folks over at Watt series matched up. So if you don't know who Watt Series are, they are a fantastic group of sleuths that do Wheel of Time news. Uh, they've had more scoops, more castings, more releases than anyone else combined. Uh, and I've left a link to their website down below in the description box. Uh, you folks definitely are going to want to go over there and bookmark them and check back off them. Anyway, so we have the top cast, and, and there's not really many surprises in this cast. Uh, but what was fun was being a part of and watching people trying to figure out who else was in this video in the hopes that we'd see someone new. So the people they found just from their foreheads and, and their hair from headshots were Alexander William, Abdul Salas, Juliet Howland, Sophie, Layla, and Ayula Smart. Now, um, Leia Costa, we, we don't know which role she's playing. We know she's involved in the show. Ayula Smart, of course, is playing Avienda, another new character for season two. Um, she was announced last year. And then on this side, we have Jay Duffy, 
previously unannounced. So Jay has not been officially announced for the Wheel of Time. He was a leaked announcement. Um, so that's his headshot. We can pretty much guarantee he's in the show now for sure, even though we were like 99.9% .9 certain prior to. Natasha O'Keefe, Sierra Coveney, and Mira. Now, what's interesting about these three ladies um, is they were announced uh, well over a year and a half ago officially. Now, they announced Sierra Coveney, Mira, and Natasha, and they gave Sierra Coveney's role as Elaine. So we knew Elaine was going to be in the second season. They never give us Mira's role, they never give us Natasha's role. There's been a whole lot of speculation on who and what they would play in the second season. Um, and Varen has been the number one pick for Mira for a very long time. So I'm kind of hoping she's Varen and we get to get to see that for the second season. But we, we don't know 100% for sure. Um, so... Let me know in the comments down below how many of you knew about Wheel of Time Wednesday. Um, so if you didn't know, let me know. If you had no idea what Wheel of Time Wednesday was, you didn't know the cast, crew, production team released things on Twitter, um, let me know because uh, I will definitely be showcasing all of it here and um, it, it'd be kind of neat for me to see how many of you had no idea that was there. And I wonder how many of you are not on Twitter. I know Twitter, again, like I said earlier, is not for everyone. I'm specifically there for the Wheel of Time community and that's pretty much it. Um, but... If you're not on Twitter, again, I'll post all that stuff here in the channel. You don't have to worry about missing it. But I'd like to know if you're not on Twitter. I'd like to know if you didn't know what Wheel of Time Wednesday is. Or if you're new to the fandom and, and this is all just new to you. It'd be kind of neat. Now, before we go, I do have uh, another community uh, section. I mean, we were doing this a long time ago, basically showcasing new Wheel of Time content creators or people who have Wheel of Time stores. So if you sell Wheel of Time merchandise, if you have a podcast, if you have a YouTube channel, if you have a website, uh, if you make uh, trinkets or you cross-stitch or cards or any of those things, I want to hear from you folks. And I like featuring it here on the channel. So I had someone with a brand new Wheel of Time podcast reach out to me um, and uh, we'll showcase them in today's community section. All right, so we're talking Thank the Light podcast. Now, they sent me a little blurb here to read. Uh, Thank the Light podcast is hosted by three individuals uh, at various points in the Wheel of Time fandom. Justin and Jeremy are longtime fans of the series, and Desmond is new since the show's release. So essentially, two people have read the books before, and someone new that just found the series uh, come uh, when the show was released about a year and a half ago. It started as primarily an after-show discussion, uh, but we now find ourselves in a prolonged intermission, and they are guiding the podcast through the book series based on Desmond's whereabouts in the property which is kind of neat. There are a couple of podcasts that do that right now, and they're always fun to listen to um, because if you've read the series before, uh, you know what's coming. And if you're listening to people who don't know what's coming, uh, it's always interesting to see their points of view and their theories uh, because that's basically what we did uh, back in the the early to late 90s is there were websites like Theoryland or Wattmania where people got together and they kind of uh, posted their theories. And we didn't know. We had to wait a year or two in between the release of the books to figure things out. While Wheel of Time is their base of conversation, they are not afraid to get off topic and simply enjoy each other's company. Uh, and they hope that you enjoy their chats as well. So you can find them at whatsoundawesome.com uh, or basically anywhere else you can find podcasts uh, or other shows from the What Sound Awesome uh, network. So I've left a link to that down below in the description box so you folks can find them uh, and take a listen to their podcast. Um, and again, if you've noticed in the last six months that there are a ton more Wheel of Time content creators out there, it's, it's because there is and it's not just because they're brand new and just popping up some of these content creators have been doing this for years now it's just there's such a gap such a, a void in wheel of time um whether it be merchandise uh, official stuff since the show release because when the show came out we, we were well fed for quite some time and then um the show ended and we all incorrectly assumed we get the second season about a year later because that's usually how most shows uh in, in most people's minds work and now we're sitting at uh well a year and a half later now with still no release date for the second season uh, so people are starting to look out and, and search and find these things uh and build little communities around them again like i said earlier there's a huge com community on twitter there's a ton of communities on all the discourse servers um and they just they're just people who like to talk about the Wheel of Time and share their passion and love for the series with other people, which I really love. So again, like I said earlier, if you run uh, any sort of content creation stuff, whether it be a podcast, a website, a YouTube channel, if you bake cookies, if you cross stitch, any of those things that are all Wheel of Time related, let me know. Send me pictures. Uh, I'd love to share that with, the, with the, the people who watch my channel out there because uh, it's always great to see new people doing things in the Wheel of Time fandom or more people sharing Wheel of Time stuff because essentially the more Wheel of Time that's out there, uh, the more the rest of the fans and myself get which i'm pretty happy about anyway thank you so very much for sticking with us here to the very end and here's to many more